In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass, Monday of the 19th week of Ordinary Time, Memorial of St. Maximilian Kolbe, Priest and Martyr. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, we celebrate the Memorial of St. Maximilian Maria Kolbe, Priest and Martyr. St. Maximilian was born in a small Polish town in 1894 near Warsaw, Poland. At the age of 10, he upset his mother one day, who told him, Raymond, which was his name, what is going to come of you? Raymond was so distressed by his mother's words that he ran to the nearby church where he had been baptized. When he entered and began to pray, he had a mystical encounter with Our Lady, who appeared to him above the baptistry and offered him two crowns, a white crown and a red crown. St. Maximilian understood that the white crown was for the purity of religious life and the red crown for martyrdom. St. Maximilian said he would receive both. At the age of 14, Maximilian entered the conventual Franciscans, where he was sent to Rome and became infirm. He went to Lourdes on a pilgrimage to ask Our Lady's intercession to be healed. When he was there, he pondered deeply the words that the Blessed Virgin spoke to St. Bernadette, I am the Immaculate Conception. Our Lady miraculously healed St. Maximilian, and he spent the rest of his life pondering these words which he understood to be a key to understanding the signs of the times and the missionary path of the church in the modern world. On October 17, 1917, after witnessing a public demonstration of the Masonic movement with blasphemous and even satanic banners, St. Maximilian was inspired to found the Militia of the Immaculate. His goal was to consecrate the whole world and every soul, even until the end of the time, to the Immaculate and through the Immaculate to the Sacred and Eucharistic Heart of Jesus. St. Maximilian eventually would found the City of the Immaculate in Warsaw, Poland, and another in Nagasaki, Japan. He desired for every nation to have a City of the Immaculate, where hearts would be consecrated to Our Lady and formed to love the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus, with the missionary ardor to proclaim the faith and to evangelize. On February 17, 1941, the Nazis invaded the city of the Immaculate in Warsaw and took St. Maximilian to Auschwitz. Before he left, he completed what may be the most luminous writing on the Immaculate Conception in the history of the Catholic Church and the role of Our Lady to mediate the Holy Spirit in the life of the baptized. Before getting in the truck on his way to Auschwitz, he proclaimed to his over 700 religious brothers, Forget not love. While in Auschwitz, St. Maximilian would share the little food that he had with others. He would hear confessions between the stalls and the buildings and encourage his fellow prisoners to pray for the German soldiers who were so cruel to them. On August 4, 1941, there is an attempted escape for which the Commandant randomly selected 10 prisoners to die by starvation as punishment. One of the prisoners, a young Polish sergeant named Franz, began to cry and begged the Commandant to spare his life, for he had a wife and three children. The Commandant, to mock him, said, Of course I will spare you if you find someone to take your place. At that moment, prisoner number 16670P, which stood for priest, stepped forward and said, I will. The Commandant was trembling before the power of such goodness and love in this prisoner, and he simply asked, Who are you? St. Maximilian responded, I am a Catholic priest. St. Maximilian was taken to the prison cell where he accompanied the other nine prisoners until their natural death by starvation. On August 14th, after 10 days, the Commandant ordered that St. Maximilian would be executed by an injection of carbolic acid. St. Maximilian had absolved and cared for his fellow prisoners and would sing to them the Salve Regina as they died. But who would sing for him? Apparently, some of the Nazi soldiers were so moved by his testimony that when he was injected, and as he died, they began to sing for him. The faithfulness of St. Maximilian transformed the city of death, the most horrible place, into a city of the Immaculate. For this reason, at his canonization, St. John Paul II called him a martyr of charity and the prophet of a new civilization of love. In today's Gospel, Jesus says, there is no greater love than for a man to lay down his life for his friends. 
and the darkness and desperation of life. St. Maximilian shows us that whatever we may lack, whatever we may face, love is always possible. We are always free to love, and there is no greater choice than that. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. To build a Marian civilization, the only thing needed is that there are apostles of the Immaculate who have the keen perception to know how to discover with generosity and courage that even in the darkest moments or places, spaces of grace can be opened for the triumph of the Immaculate. To conquer hearts, so that instead of turning to darkness or hate, they turn to Our Lady and through her to the Sacred Heart. St. Maximilian Kolbe, prophet of a new civilization of love, pray for us. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary. Amen. Yeah.